Peace. Welcome to Holla TV, man. Uh, this is our third episode, and we're having the Youth Organizing Collective here today with me. Peace, y'all. How y'all doing? Wow. Yeah. See, we can yeah. build yeah. 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 Oh, man. So today we're going to we'll be different. I'm not going to ask you a question, a bunch of questions. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Y'all feel free how y'all want to answer it. The questions I will ask y'all today is, what brought, what, how did you came to Harlem? Or uh, what are you doing in Harlem? Right, I can start. Go um, ahead. So like, the work um, I'm doing with Harlem, um, it, it's like a myriad of things. Um, I'm doing um, workshops with youth or like, other individuals that like that's that's well needed, mm -hmm. and then I'm just doing some some groundwork where we just like we just build on our ourself, our team, mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. um, improving it's like our unit, and getting better. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in. I think the, I'm gonna try to sum the reason why I came to Holla and what I'm doing with Holla like in one kind of like not. Um, Two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. I came to Holla <laughs> and what I'm doing with Holla is the hill. You know, mm -hmm. I came to like Holla because of relationships. A Rocks pulled me in and I was able already cool with Marlon and Butterlap to some degree and that was able to get deeper. And kinda like the work that I'm doing to Holla now, particularly with the youth organized collective and our Hill and Justice movement, um, is really first thinking about like building relationships with myself. Mm -hmm. and trying to like heal with some of my old versions of myself and some of the things that my family and we, me been through. And then turning that into like, you know, wisdom to build relationships with Lashley, Rushma, um, Victor, um, in, in real situations to like use that wisdom to like connect with them. Mm -hmm. And I think overall we've been trying to use our collective wisdom to connect with other young people throughout the city. So that's kind of like what I, what I come to how long we doing. Oh, no. Came to hell, which I came to. I came to love. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mash. Um, for me, I would say, um, what I do in Holla, I don't know, like, I want to better myself, like, as a person, so that's what I'm doing, like, on a everyday basis. Like, I take what I learn here and try to incorporate it in my life just so I could be a better human being. Y'all can snap too, you know, affirm each other. <laughs> it's cool. Um, like, to answer both questions, I say I came because I was like at the point in my life where I wanted to do something different mm. and like step out of my comfort zone. Um, and then, wait, what was the other question? What are you doing in Holland? Okay. Um, so, right now, like I was saying, I'm doing it all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like not more so hands on, but like a lot of work on myself. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, just like getting myself together because I'm, I'm not together, so that's what I should be doing. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I agree. But a lot, well, why? What brought you to Holla? What are college doing for you? Please. Um, so, what brought me to Holla is an invitation. Of Newton as a mind. Uh, I was invited to come to a table. Um, I guess because, I don't guess because we was putting a lot of work in um, in the system, we got constructive right. work in, and we were just meeting from the minds from different angles to build on this concept called how, how our lives will grow together. So that's how I arrived here as uh, one of the uh, architects, so to say, like Carly said. And um, so I'm here to build, and mm -hmm. I'm doing, I'm healing, it's the same thing, I'm healing from some things. Um, also networking with other communities in my, na my neighborhood um, to bring the concept of YOC, Youth Organizing Collective, to the platform. Um, to see how we all are related, whether we are inside or outside. Um, the circle people, I'm a circle people, I'm one of the elders. Uh, and just supporting the whole concept of uh, how and YOC and, and, and just moving forward in through the workshops that we said how I came to Holla, right? How you came to Holla? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I met Corey when I got out. I had, like, 
I had been out for like a month. I was home for like a month and like two weeks. And I went to the conference and I met Corey and Corey was like on stage speaking about, I can't even remember what he was talking about. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, I thought he was young too at the time. You know, I, I, I that old. I was like, who's this young brother? You know, he's kind of fired me on stage, taking a lot of time, you know. So, so I'm like, um, after that, um, I think the next day, I met him on Saturday. I got to like get like get up close on him, and he was talking, and then he gave me his card, and then um, he kind of was like, "They gonna take my card if you ain't gonna reach out." Man. He was like, "Yo, like you know, he, he just kept t- he told me like three times. He's like, yo, make sure you.'" Yo. <laughs> so, so um, like when I was in prison, I knew I knew like I wanted to do something um and. And I, I felt like I knew I had influence over like my community to a certain extent. Like, you know, I got people to do certain things when I was home. So I felt like I, I could influence them to do different things. Like, you know, um, you know, my mom, you know, I was I was organizing for different things, you know. Um, so now that I, I you know, I gained certain things, I met Corey, um, I felt like I could use that same influence to, to, to like, you know, influence people and then that's how I came to Holler. And what I do, um, yeah, Holler just just building with Holler's been like a process of like self work, like I feel like I did a lot of self thing in prison, mm-hmm. but like, um, I was by myself. Like, you know, I'd be in the box. Um, like, I didn't have to be around people. I could just lock in myself. Um, so it was easy to do that type of work, but it, yeah. it's hard to like, like do it with people. It's hard to like when people get on your nerves and it's like, but like we all trying to work for the same thing. Um, mm-hmm. it, 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 that's like the hardest part. Like, how do I still like, like, yeah, like you know, the actions of some people might bother me, but like we we still invested in the work and like. How do I get past like being annoyed to like still do the work? And I think like um that's kind of like some of the work that I do like on myself, um and like getting the information from how like I do that outside with my peers and I do that with like my family, um and I'm I'm just trying to like heal my community, you know. So, let me go what? Then we got my little sister Bush. Now, how you come to Holla? Um, I'm in Holla because. Uh, yeah, like when I when I got here, like I came here, and like the reason why I'm here has to do with like how people are leaders here, right. and like who, and it's like echoing um, what I like what Mashley said. Like I just like yeah, like the leaders of the space are like like that's the type of leader that I want to be, and yeah, this is definitely a space that. Um, I use to be a better person and to show up and it's like a really special space so and it's really different from other spaces and it's a blessing to be here of course definitely definitely and for me I came to holla mm. through my freshman in high school I started a culture for in my school and I said one of my dreams was to go back home and be the prime minister of my country to change it for the, for the youth. Mm-hmm. I feel like the youth need a voice. And um, and I always stick by myself. I always say I will work by my I work very hard. I will push myself to do the best. Yeah, I know lately I've been slacking, but I know that my future is what I want and that's something I'm going for. And that's what brought me to Holla and I started Next Step Program. But when I started the Next Step Program, then Chino told me about Holla and then I started joining and when I started, I never left, definitely. So with that being said, I know I got one more person. You know, he's in a cut. Oh, he had to be right. showing his face. Yeah, my yeah. son, Alex. What's Hi. good, Alex? Hello. What brought you to Holla, buddy? Um, yes. Um, beautiful young people. That's <laughs> um, <laughs> sexy. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Like, you know, Holla is definitely connected with the sons of leadership. So, you know, the legacies are very much intertwined. Um, and like um, Shaq was saying in his other interview, we're like, yeah, faith, you know, a lot of faith brings brings this together, you know? So yeah, like um, many moments where like I met Chino and like I didn't know Chino as a mentor, just like somebody who was coming to the probation service. Mm-hmm. Many times, you know, like I've seen Corey and I was like, who is this dude just coming up in the center? And chilling with Doc, um, and <laughs> then until then until like we we build, and then I'm like, oh, Corey's a part of his legacy, and then understanding how like Holla was um 
also a part of my legacy and my in my in my legacy as well. Um, so yeah, like you know, I think it was dope to um, come to Holla and be an organizer. And what I do is yeah, like you know, um, protect and destroy. Protect and destroy. <laughs> that's that's what everybody wants to do, you know. So what make what make you protect and destroy is different from other people want to protect and destroy. That was a question that nobody else was answering. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man. I think like protect, um, protect each other from like even ourselves. I mm. think like definitely um, like I battle myself every day. A lot of shit like that I um, have done or still do, or still trying to figure out why is that something that people even argue about that's in me. Um, but I understand those things too. You feel me? Um, so I'm thinking like, yeah, like you need to, and then also protect um, just everybody. Like everybody's in harm's way. That's like, <laughs> you gotta think about it, like everybody's in harm's way. Right. Um, and yeah, like destroy, destroy stuff that's not real, man. Destroy stuff that holds us back. Um, destroy stuff that like, that like, brings us down, destroys stuff that like disconnects us right. from like our relationships and stuff. So just, you know, things that like just don't make us feel right, we should destroy. Definitely. Like, destroy older versions of ourselves that ain't working for us no more. Definitely. Or destroy habits, behaviors that don't All serve right. us well. Definitely. And thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate the dialogue. Y'all are very insightful. And for everybody in the audience who might not know about these young warriors that's doing dope work in Best Die Brooklyn, you check them out on holla-inc.com. Man, these warriors are doing dope. If you wanna you wanna build you wanna build in the school, call these guys. They do dope workshop. Peace to y'all.